Another unicorn is entering the NBA. His name is Victor Wimbanyama. Shout out to DKM. Put the podcast on literally like a year and a half ago before everyone knew. Shout out to DKM. Everyone's been going crazy, and I want to hear what Jalen and Jacoby have to say. With Victor Wimbanyama. Last night, he and his team faced off against the G League Ignite team featuring God Scoot damn. Henderson. And watching this man yeah, play 37 basketball. 37 and 5? a full basketball game on ESPN2 was like nothing I've ever seen before. Look, Look at, at this, this dude, seven bro. Foot three or He's four seven man. four. Take threes off a curl, and then on transition threes. Pull up. Nah, shots, I see the. I see the film. Post ups. Jaylen. Nah, bro. I, I think this is the best prospect I've ever seen since LeBron James. I got. I gotta tell you a Damn. secret, Jacoby. Damn, that's a take. I'm in love. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so he's shooting like, off the pick and roll. Nah, oh, yeah. nah, time nah, time nah. Because nah. <laughs> they're going to think I'm trolling. They're going to think I'm trolling. Look, look, I am a college casual, okay? The NBA shit that we get, fine, whatever. Call call me stupid. College, you got it. I'm a casual. I ain't never seen this dude. And I, when I saw the stat line, 37, five blocks, seven threes, unicorn. I said, all right, bet. He probably tall as shit. Then I reread it, saw seven, four. I said, cool, probably tall as shit on some KP shit. This this motherfucker cross pull ups on some curry shit like off a pick and roll like that. He should like he a goddamn god. We need to run that back. Hold on. <laughs> no. Jab. I know it wasn't. A, yeah, I know it ain't an ankle breaker, but you that's know, different. Be seven foot four. Damn. He, he's playing yeah. like and a score thirty seven. Uh huh. But usually that guy oh, isn't making god. seven threes. Seven for eleven. Seven for eleven. And, and if he is gonna seven make seven 11. threes, Sage motherfuckers are closing out on him perfectly and you cannot do anything bro nah this is the definition of all those these kevin durant kevin durant yeah what if kevin durant was taller head ass like <laughs> damn he's wow 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 i've, I've, not, I've never seen a pro like truly nah no dicks i'm trying not to dick suck at least but wow i'm i ain't got much to say i mean i will have stuff to say later because it's a video but damn i think it's nice is it gonna have five blocks and it ain't gonna be step back threes, off the drip, off the curl threes, transition threes. Back, These are not shut, just shut catching the fuck threes. Up, Shoot, I'm wide back. open, kick out threes. It's crazy. And, and, and also, Jacoby, step back, I, I, I'm so in love because, like, this game means so much to me. It's done so much for my <laughs> life, and it's taken me places I never would have gone. Exposed me to people that I never would have been Damn. exposed to. So okay. Different stages yeah, my question my is: life, Is he good on defense, I or is he just seven four? What was something I'd never seen before? So Magic Johnson as a six nine point guard, I was like, Oh my god, I'd never seen that before. It's incredible. Right, and we right. saw clearly what my childhood idol went on to accomplish. And then you have a prospect like a a Michael Jordan, who's playing basketball with his tongue out, making it. <laughs> Big time plays That's what Carolina saying now. The That's the, <laughs> yeah, fuck the, the 40 inch you know, vert, the game changing player. And the then the crazy pound for pound strength of somebody it's like tongue. a Shaquille O'Neal, right? And playing yep. against him and, 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 and the brute strength and power that he has. Nah, this like is a crazy prospect. A modern day Will. It, it sounds like Dick I didn't get a chance to physically see Will. Seven four with a hand on LeBron, balls, And we could go nice. on and on. I ain't never seen nothing like this. It's wild. You know what's crazy? I, I don't know why this is my first thought. Maybe I'm fucked up for thinking this. But when people talk about don't set these expectations on these players, B-Souls, you're the problem. You're telling me I'm, lo I'm looking at this shit right here and I can't get excited, bro. I can't see the potential <laughs> of this motherfucker dominating the league. Yo, no, bro. No, he's only 19. You're putting too much pressure on him. Bro, do you see what the fuck he's doing? Yeah, I'm gonna expect this guy to be a superstar. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now, chat. I'm expecting this guy to be a super uh, a superstar. Am I bad for having those expectations? I guess. When I saw Zion, he, he was doing what he was doing in college. My bad for thinking he can be and should be a superstar. I guess it's my fault. But damn. I'm at least rooting for him, chat. <laughs> can, can I root for him? Can, can I want it? Like, can I want him to be a superstar? Like, God. Like, he talking about Zion 
LeBrons, LeBrons and shit, but like this dude, I'm still stuck on it. He's seven four. He, he's seven four, moving like this, bro. Like everybody was so afraid of the next gen big being like this, but like it never happened. Like Jokic is a one of a kind player, but he's not tween tweening and quickly moving and all that other shit. Or we got a cat who can kind of do it, but he's a little bit on the short side, not the craziest guard skills. Or or we got like Embiid or whatever. Like they can do these things. This motherfucker is like like a two. 2K11, 2K16, cheat code, crossover 16, built-ass motherfucker. Like, he big as shit. No, no, like, yo. I don't know. I don't know. I, I need that to be I need that to be a superstar, my guy. I'm sorry. I, look, if he's not, sorry. <laughs> I, I, but I, but I, want him, I want him to be a superstar, bro. I agree. Wow. I ain't never seen that. I was there when Giannis got drafted. I was there when KD got drafted. We wasn't saying this. Giannis weren't like that. About Giannis. <laughs> we wasn't saying yeah. this. And the thing I like about his game at his height, fluid. Damn. Usually a seven foot Two player is a little spin? clumpy. Yeah, that's what I'm you know, saying. He ain't clumsy enough. You know, you nothing. got big feet, you got long arms. That's a lot like of the limbs. The game's smooth, Paul. You know, to carry around as a human being. But for him to be as agile, great footwork, ball This handling, is off of one game and Catch I'm... and shoot, pick and roll, pick and flare, like, it's incredible. Block shots in the paint. Block shots on the perimeter. We've never seen a prospect like this. And for those who watched ESPN2 last night, you now know why teams in the NBA have already forfeit this season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, oh, it's a oh, race God, to the bottom tank. for Victor Wimanyama. An absolute race to the bottom. There's gonna be, the tanking is going to be ridiculous. There's I just, yo, seven, Sage, I, I know you, you just said it, but seven, four is insane. Yeah. Right. Seven, seven like, four. It's, it's ain't, this isn't seven, one. This isn't six foot 11. This, seven, four, bro. Seven, God, four. like, the last prospect that, that's gotten this hype truly that I remember was like, straight up, Yao Ming. That's it. Everyone else has been like a center with this hype was like, I don't know, seven foot, really big, can dominate the paint type shit. Or it was six, you know, six foot, ten, seven foot, not as dominant in the paint, but can stretch out the four and was really skilled. We're talking about a guy that can possibly do both and, and is taller than the, the norm taller, for a yeah. great prospect. Insane, bro. Boban with ability, if you will. Like, oh God, oh God. Handful of teams right now that watched ESPN2 last night and they were just like, The thing is gonna be I, nuts we should win a game. We should, we, should, we should just forfeit every game. We should just tell the league we're, we're, we're forfeiting the season just so we can have a better chances at having him in our uniform. But Jalen, it was all about Victor Wimbanyama. You mentioned his blocks. A couple of his blocks were on Scoot Henderson. Looked to be the number two. That's the other guy. Drop. But I heard about him. Game, the first half was about Scoot, not some Victor. Film Victor got film most of his Scoot. work done in the second half. Scoot Henderson lived up to his name, and that name being Scoot. He was fast. He would go to the <laughs> basket. He scored over Victor Wimbanyama a couple times at the rim. Oh, yeah, he looking like a dame ass nigga already really compared good. to him. He was just overshadowed. Gonna be nice. Be real good. We'll cast a shadow over real him good. because he is so big. Oh, Give me shit, Anthony good. Edwards. Powerful. Like yeah. Great court sense. <laughs> Hey, hey, that ain't no diss. Hey, hey, you like that. Come on, bro. Come on. I love it. Yeah, that's not a diss. Look, man. Get that man scooter team, bro, because I don't want him to just be cuck to Victor the whole time. But Victor got to go one. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm taking that gamble. I've seen the Gobert clip because I remember his body frame pause. But, like, now I'm thinking about it. This is the dude that fucked up uh, Rudy Gobert unless I'm tripping. So I've seen... Like maybe three minutes of footage combined on Victor. You gotta go one. I'm taking the risk. I ain't gonna lie. I hate when bad teams don't take risk. You, you already suck. But Scoot, just don't be don't be a cuck to him, bro. Like get, make sure you get one. Yeah, like, yeah, make sure you get one on this motherfucker. Did Scoot win the game? Yeah, I believe so. I like that. There you go. See, like <laughs> make sure. I don't give a fuck if he better. Make sure you get your wins, Scoot. Don't 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 even go like that, bro. Cause I can tell he can hoop too. Willing to make those around him better. Hey. Playing yeah, defense in the half court off the dribble, reverse layups, getting steals, getting out mm. in transition, Dang, four okay. dunks, making jump shots. He the, ain't afraid to go out, bro. The sky's the limit for school Henderson as well. And that's what I appreciate about us having this platform Mark to do Fultz this show. I like this guy. Victor's going to be the headline. <laughs> Mark and most people don't pay attention to the headline. And rightfully so, a prospect we've never seen. But to me, Scoot is the story. Ah.
uh, story. Uh, I don't know. When the other dude seven four just dropped thirty seven points in five blocks with seven threes. Uh. So it's one thing I learned as a content creator, niggas be so afraid of the obvious, bro. So afraid. <laughs> like, all right, bro. You're you're so scared of being the clickbait guy or so scared of being a casual, bro. Victor Woman, whatever the fuck. That he's the story, bro. Victor, I'm 74 Yama over here. <laughs> he's the story, bro. That that's it. The actual dream of seven foot with a handle grew four inches. He, he he's here, bro. Hey, that's it. It's fine. Jalen, it's, it's cool. You, you were slicing them for like four minutes. I don't know. I don't know why this one minute of scoop just changed the story. It's the story. It's fine. It's all good. When you're able to perform like that in a, uh, in, a in a league where ball handling and the ability to get from point A to point B is so very, uh, uh, it, it unlocks the floor for not only you and your teammates, the sky's the limit for a potential the sky's the limit for a prospect like this. And hey, that's you're just recording right. videos. Okay. Teams are and <laughs> hey, no should cow. be taking for Victor. Editor knows that. But Shit. Consider Scoop the number two prospect for yes, a reason. And you'd be very happy with that consolation prize. And while Victor Consolation's crazy. I don't know if I'd be very yeah. happy. It's still Victor's right there. Oh. Ah. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you're, you're two. And we're like, dick off, we're so fucking close to getting Victor. Question, 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 right there, right there, question, because I don't even know if they're going to say something, so this might be the fucking end for all I know. You have the number one pick in the 2023 draft. What asset, if it had to be anything, if the answer isn't nothing in the world, what asset could get that off you? Well, I ain't trading Tatum. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> Tatum stays. Tatum stays, Chad. Tatum Un stays. Untouchable. No cap. So if you were the other team and they offered you Tatum, you doing it? No. Like if you had the number one pick, you all right, baby. No. Okay, okay. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so Celtic Souls is not trading Tatum and Victor Souls is keeping Victor. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, can't. I see how that works. <laughs> But, but let Tatum be on the Celtics, bro. Like, damn, Just let let us have him. Damn. If Tatum ain't a champion, I don't know. I might hit that reset button. Fuck. God damn it, we did you wrong. Fuck it. Go go lose somewhere else. If his name ain't Luca, I'm keeping Vic. I gotta try it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If his name ain't Luka Doncic, ah. Sage, what what if I went up to you and said, I don't even know if the financials work. There's Garland and Evan Mobley. He knows I love Evan Mobley. And BG's cold too, bro. No cap. I'm keeping Victor. <laughs> I'm keeping, keeping Victor, Victor, bro. I'm keeping Victor, bro. I gotta see it through. If I have a center, I don't think niggas understand. Center is such a high value thing in the league at the moment. I know it's a guards league or whatever, even though I kind of disagree with that. But even if it's a guards league to you or whatever, having that A++ center really like no diffs a lot of competition. The floor of a center is extremely high. A JaVale McGee is really good, but if you have an Embiid, a Jokic, a Giannis, you going crazy. So if I can get Victor, who has the, a fucking ceiling above all the motherfuckers, at, at least what it seems like, and then I can just build around that. Darius Garland's ain't that uncommon, bro. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. <laughs> how, how rare? How like school looking like he could be DG? Uh, how rare is a Darius Garland? I'm not saying Darius Garland. I'm not dissing DG. I love Darius Garland. I used to diss him back in uh two three years ago, and then I was proven wrong. Good shit. But I take my chance on another all-star guard pop falling into my lap than trying to be like, damn, we got to beat Victor. Not doing shit, y'all, though. If I'm tripping, comment below, bro. I ain't going to lie. If, I, if I'm tripping, or better yet, name the trade that would get Victor off of you. With, whoa, last question, Zos. Would two and a bunch of other picks get, you, get it off you? If you had pick one, and uh, let's say like the Pacers or some shit had pick two, mm -hmm. and it was like, fuck it. We'll give you Tyrese. Pick number two and like three other first. You doing it or no? Nah. Nah. nah damn, hey, we damn. team Victor over here. No cap. Damn. We are team Victor. Yeah, man. If we tripping, let us know. Comment down below. But it's been your boy TSO Sage here, my brother Benjamin. Take care and stay blessed. Go Victor. No cap.